Hey guys, part two to this video. So hopefully you got to see the beginning of this where I talked about the 200 amp panel outside, uh, the all-in-one combo with the meter, and then down below was the 100 amp breaker feeding this, and then outside in the garage was the 60 amp main lug panel. We fed that 60 amp main lug panel all the way around this rim joist. Um, and some of you guys might get into your voltage calculation. I probably pulled 125 feet of wire max to maybe 90. I didn't wheel it off. Um, you know, you're going to be fine. Anytime you get to a point of 250 foot, I think you should think about it, but I've never seen a voltage drop that big. This right here, um, I did curve it around because I try to be considerate of my plumber. He may have to come in if something leaks. The last thing you want him to do is to cut your wire. Um, and it comes all the way from that point of entry I showed you in the garage. Keep it against that rim. This is a 6.3 NM Romex. And then right here, now less than uh, 8 foot, you, you're supposed to protect your conduit. This might be a little extreme to most people thinking, why would you do that? Just come in the top of it. I'm not going to be here for the inspector. I don't know the inspector. I really don't want to fight over something stupid. I'm already there. At a ha I have PVC. I just needed three couplings, three MAs, one plastic bushing, and a couple lock washers, and some minis and some anchors. Uh, you do have to anchor all this to the cement. Um, he, he may later build this out. He said he's going to leave this unfinished. So we drop that down, and then to get space outside for the SPD, because we were out of breaker space, we went ahead and cut the dryer and dropped the dryer in here and spliced it right in here. So that gave us our two extra spots for the dryer, and then we had two extra spots for our, our, draw, our range because he ended up with a cooktop that was gas, and so I had four spots, which was perfect for this. Now in the future, if he does a kitchen remodel, he'll have no space in that panel because as you can see, they're all twins and tandems. So here's the thing. We gave him a bigger spot panel out here instead of a 6.8 in the garage and down here. Even though this is rated at 125 amp in the garage and this one's rated probably up to 200 amp, it doesn't really matter. It's only fed with 100. I did pull it with some one aught because I had it at home and I just upsized it one size. Um, bottom line here, he's got plenty of room for a kitchen remodel with more arc faults and 100 amp. And when you go to do your basement, if you're going to do a steam shower, you're going to do a heated floor system down there, you're going to run a mini split, you're going to run uh, welding, a, a kiln in your in your area that you're going to vent for a craft room, you're going to do a hot tub, a sauna, any of those major large electrical items or you're growing weed in Colorado, um, you want to make sure that you drop 100 amps to the basement. It is not adequate to drop 60. Um, but in this scenario, because we were hitting the garage at 50 amps, we went ahead and breakered it here at 50. That's the garage, the dryer, and this is being fed right now um, at 100 amps to this bus bar. So anyways, guys, thanks for joining us. So hopefully it helped you out to see this in live person. And usually I don't get to explain that to people, but I can tell them to go to my video that talks about sub panels in basements and feeding the garage as a daisy chain from 200, 100, 260, or 50 amps. Now, last thing, some people have asked me, is it okay to step it from 100 to 100 to another 50? Technically, you're really supposed to step this down and be, if it's outside 100 amp, then feed it at 60 and feed it at 50. Um, if you're not doing all that stuff I said earlier. Now, if you have 125 amp, 150 amp, you don't have to have 200 out there, that's fine. You can step it down then here to 100. The major thing is making sure the bus bar is rated for that. As you can see on his panel, there was no sticker. It was gone after 20 years. So that sticker, once it's gone, it's, it, it's gonna be one of those common sense that the inspector's gonna look at. Thanks for joining us, guys. Have a great week.